Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to review the HomePod Mini, Apple's most affordable tech product. At just $99, it's almost for free. After using it for a couple of years, I want to share my honest opinion about this little speaker and whether you should still buy it today. Without further ado, let's get started. Can you please ask my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Guys, please subscribe to Arthur's channel. He is making a lot of interesting tech videos. I am subscribed although I am just a little speaker for $99 and sometimes I am listening to his videos because I don't have eyes. First up, the HomePod Mini is an impressive wireless speaker that won't break the bank. At least from Apple's perspective. At just $99, you are getting surprisingly good sound quality in a compact package. It's perfect for filling a small room with your favorite music without taking up much space. The sound quality that comes from this little sphere is truly remarkable. Surprisingly, for just 99 bucks, it still comes with an included wall charger. So again, it's a great value product. It's quite amusing that the iPhone 15 Pro Max, priced at almost $1,500, doesn't come with a charger, while the $99 HomePod does. This is what I call the 21st century business model. But that's not all. Many users are unaware that when you purchase a new HomePod, you're also getting a 6-month free subscription to Apple Music. That's another $60 off savings. Please note that the bonus is only available to new Apple Music subscribers. So if you already have Apple Music, this promo will not be applied to you. The HomePod Mini doubles as a smart home hub. It's fully compatible with HomeKit, allowing you to control all of your smart home devices with ease. This little sphere can be the central command for your entire smart home setup, and it does the job surprisingly well. Lastly, Apple packed two useful sensors into the HomePod Mini. It can measure both temperature and humidity in your room, making it a handy HomeKit accessory. This feature adds extra value, especially for those interested in home automation or monitoring their indoor environment. Let's talk about why you might want to think twice before buying the HomePod Mini. The biggest drawback is, well, Siri. Apple's virtual assistant still lags behind competitors in terms of intelligence and capabilities. If you're expecting a super smart AI model to control your home, you might be disappointed. Besides controlling your HomeKit accessories and telling you the current weather, it cannot do anything else. For me it's okay, but for some people it might be not enough. Sorry, I don't understand. Why are you so stupid? I'm just trying to do my job. If there's anything else I can help you with. Well, you are doing a shitty job. Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. The second reason to reconsider buying HomePod Mini is the ecosystem lock-in. If not everyone in your household uses an iPhone, they'll have a hard time interacting with the HomePod Mini. The HomePod Mini cannot be used in a mixed device household. The HomePod Mini was originally released in 2020, so it's quite an old device now. Interesting fact, it uses the same S7 processor as the Apple Watch Series 7. Technically, it still does the job pretty well, but I feel like it needs some Apple intelligence features or at least make Siri more intelligent and useful. But as of now, Apple has no plans to update the HomePod Mini in the nearest future. Conclusion. The HomePod Mini is still a great value little speaker, with some cool smart home features, but it does come with limitations. Ultimately, the decision depends on your specific needs and how you invest in the Apple ecosystem. 
If you are looking for a good quality speaker with built-in home hub without breaking the bank, go for it. If you are expecting a smart home assistant, you'll be disappointed. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hi HomePod, do you think people should still buy you? As a HomePod Mini, here's why you might want to buy me, and some reasons why you might want to hold off. Why you should buy me. 1. Compact size. I'm small and can fit almost anywhere in your home without taking up much space. 2. Great sound quality despite my size. I deliver surprisingly rich and clear audio for my price point. 3. Smart Home Hub. I can control your home kit enabled smart home devices. 4. Siri integration. I offer hands-free access to Siri for voice commands, information, and assistance. 5. Multi-room audio. You can easily pair multiple HomePod minis for synchronized audio throughout your home. 6. Intercom feature. I allow you to send voice messages to other Apple devices in your home. 7. Privacy focused. Apple designs me with privacy in mind, with features like local processing of voice commands. Why you might not want to buy me now? 1. Limited voice assistant. Siri isn't as advanced as some competitors like Google Assistant or Amazon's Alexa. 2. Apple ecosystem dependency. I work best within the Apple ecosystem. So if you're not heavily invested in Apple products, you might not get the full benefit. 3. No Bluetooth streaming. Unlike some competitors, I don't support Bluetooth audio streaming from non-Apple devices. 4. Price. While I'm not the most expensive smart speaker, there are cheaper alternatives with similar features. 5. Possible new version coming. Apple might release an updated version of me in the near future with improved features. 6. Limited music service support. I primarily work with Apple Music. While I support some other services, the integration isn't as seamless. 7. No built-in battery. Unlike some portable smart speakers, I need to be plugged in at all times. Ultimately, the decision depends on your specific needs, your existing tech ecosystem, and how you plan to use a smart speaker in your home. Thank you, HomePod.